Hi there, I'm Katie. In this video I'm going to show you how to do French knots, which is the embroidery stitch I used to decorate the mushrooms on my fairy ring cardigan design. You'll need some white yarn left over from your knitting, a darning needle and a pair of scissors. We'll start by cutting a short length of yarn, half a metre or so, and threading the needle. Then weave in the end to the back of your work, just as you would when you finish knitting. If you're left with a bit of a tail, you can either leave it to felt in over time or trim it when you're finished working. When you're ready to begin, bring the needle up to the front of your work where you want to make your first French knot. Place the needle tip close to where the yarn has come up and wrap the yarn around the needle, so over the top towards you, under the needle away from you, and over the top towards you again. Now hold this wrap firmly with your thumb while you poke the tip of the needle back into your work, but be careful not to poke it through in the same place that you came up. If you do that, your French knot will disappear into the back of your knitting and never be seen again. Um, so what I'm doing is stitching over the top of one leg of a knitted stitch and that will help my French knot sit proudly on the surface when it's finished. So I'm holding that, um, that wrap steady while I pull the needle through to the back nice and tight and we have one French knot finished. Now bring the needle up a few stitches over, ready to work another French knot. So again, wrap the yarn around the needle Hold that wrap firmly in place while you poke the needle tip down one stitch over and pull the needle through. Keep repeating this until your yarn runs short, but make sure you leave enough to weave the end in at the back of your work and then cut a new length of yarn and start over again. There are lots of mushrooms on this cardigan, so you're going to be a real expert at French knots by the time you're finished. If you're not feeling confident, you could always start with the mushrooms at the back of your cardigan while you practice and get the hang of it. And by the time you get around to the front of the cardigan, you're going to be feeling way more confident and your French knots are going to be looking really good. So that's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you're looking for the pattern for the fairy ring cardigan, I've popped a link in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon for the next episode of the Green Bean Podcast. Bye!